All right, well here I am in stereo. Um, this is a test and kind of some instructions on how to use NDI to go from Zoom to OBS Studio and kind of do some cool producer sort of things. So if you notice over here, I've got my selfie camera that I'm using to set up my Zoom meeting and kind of give myself a test image. Uh, you can see I'm right there. And one of the cool things that I can do with NDI is I have used the NDI scan converter app down here in my house um, with my NTU testing shirt on. Hey Andy. Um, for old times in video engineering sake. But what you do is, or what I did, was I used my NDI region of interest to set that out. And then as a producer that gives me the ability over here, I can mute, unmute, um, I can click or I can pin. You know, I can pin myself. Oops. I can unpin me. So I can move back and forth between participants. And that's the section up here. So one quick thing about configuring your region of interest with NDI Studio. In your taskbar, you want to have running the NDI scan converter as you see right here. Right click on it and it'll bring up your options. Generally, you want your audio source to be your system audio to send audio through. Your capture setting, region of interest. When you click configure region of interest, oops. That brings up this box that you can move around and whatever's inside the box is what's going to be sent down to OBS Studio. Okay, so this is part two. And we can see we've got a couple of extra participants in here. I can chat and give um, messages get ready to start I can do all sorts of stuff and you can see it pops up a message for my participants on zoom the little chat feature so now we are going to go downstairs to OBS studio and actually start this show okay so this is part two we're now in the basement you can see I've got my return camera for me there. Um, here is the laptop where we control things. You can see the got more people online now and I can still talk to them and do all that fun stuff. I can mute them so people don't accidentally kick off stuff. Which I'm going to mute let's see Kendall and Kelly real quick. And now I'm the only one talking on here so we're streaming out through OBS Studio and I've got some things ready to go. Some scenes, a video open that we'll do in just a second. So let me get the recorder set so we can kind of see what's going on. Apologize for the uh, thing back here. So we'll start off here. Um, so what that was right there, that was just a quick little video intro that we'd had on the, on the hard drive from last year. Um, but now we're back in the basement and um, we can toss over from me to another one of our uh, people. So at this point, I'm going to call on Kelly to introduce herself and then toss over to Kendall. Hello, I'm Kelly. Um, we're testing out the OBS and Zoom system. Kendall's also here with us and she's got something for us as well. Kendall, take it away. Hey, I'm Kendall, and uh, we've got a video for you to watch. Okay, a quick note about sound while this is playing. Um, I don't hear the package playing on my computer right now because I've got it muted, but what you'll have to do in OBS Studio is right-click on that channel, Advanced Audio Properties, and you'll see where it says Monitor and Output. You want to have that on Monitor and Output, um, and if you do that and you have your return camera, network return camera, like the cell phone I've got right up there next to me, then everybody can kind of hear at the same time. And also, as a producer, that's where you can, you know, watch the playback, um, watch the timing on it, know where things are, and get ready to, you know, send out a text message of, hey, this is coming up next, or whatever like that. Um, so it is a little bit of, uh, you got to kind of pay attention in there. And OBS, you know, with its, you just have to make sure you're listening to them, monitoring the audio on there. Um, and as you can see, I've got my stream going up on the left, so it all kind of works out. So there we go. So welcome back, Kelly. Welcome back to the basement. So now I've got us all kind of unmuted here um, because we got to finish up this little demo. 
but that's just kind of a cool way that we can do some multi-camera kind of producing sort of things and as like I said you know I can I can come over and I can type messages to our participants and kind of really kind of produce some stuff so what do you guys think Yeah, I just kind of figured this out last night. So, um... All right, so a quick note about using NDI as a source. When you right-click on, when you add NDI as a source in OBS Studio, under Properties, you'll tell it the source name. And this is, uh, you know, should be my laptop. You can see I've also got Premiere Pro going. Um, let's do my Premiere Pro. That should be interesting. Um, and then you just click OK. Another thing that you'll need to do for OBS Studio in your browser somewhere is you will need to download the OBS NDI plugin. Um, if you Google OBS NDI, it should bring up this GitHub page. You can go down and you'll find a link to the installer when you click around a little bit on there. Um, and the installer is a zip file. You'll download that, uh, install it real quick, and you should be good to go. But anyway, so go video engineering. Um, I keep looking at the wrong camera. That's weird. So go video engineering. I'm going to look at y'all right now. I am a behind the camera person, but uh, here is a great way, hopefully, that we can for free uh, some or do some multi-camera things and at least kind of keep on with the producing. So thank y'all very much for watching.